syntax and whatever we call it as i want the code now from everyone where in sql to new glide record of instant very good okay so when we connected on the required uh, so here we can go with the two ways sir uh -huh. with the encoded query or uh, add query okay then i can make it three ways okay Add to query. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. Hmm. Then what else? Pins dot encoded. Pins dot. We can use while. Uh huh. While here, ah. While is I. I am not while. While c dot query. That is very important. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I am not next. Next. Yes. Yes. Dot pin. Very good. <clears throat> hmm. I N C dot number. Very good. And I can I D S dot pin. I N C dot short description. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Okay, is that clear, everyone? Will it work? Yes, no. Yeah, let me write. Let me run it. Yeah. So it is working, right? Incident number, and then this is the one. This is the one. This is the one. So it is working perfectly. Okay. Oh, okay. So now, okay. Oh, okay. Please keep it on mute, ma. Some disturbance is coming. Okay. So see here. INC dot number, okay. INC dot short description. These two are getting the field values of incident record. Agree, everyone? Yes, no. Yes. No. If I write something like INC dot next, okay. What system will feel about this? The next. So here we have next, but here we have next. next, and here we have some structure. Okay, INC dot number means it is a field, right? So when you see something here, why can't it be a field also? Okay, make it may have it right. Sometimes let's say I created one field in the incident table called NEXT. The field column name is NEXT. That time, how system will treat this next? You understood? Everyone understood this point. So what is the point? Is see, I am repeating. With parentheses more. No, no. Okay. So what is my point? Is in incident tables there is a column called next, next, or okay, query. The column names are this one. Okay, consider like it created like this. I don't know who created, but when I see this one, unfortunately we have. A field called next, a field called query. Okay, now my problem is if I use incident dot next in my query, okay, the next may the system may treat this one as a column also, right? It can be tracked, it can be treated as a column also, right? Everyone agree? Yes, sir. Yes, others? Yes, sir. Oh. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh. Okay. So when you have this kind of situation, when you have a field name with next or query okay to do the operation of next or query you need to use underscore query or underscore next is that clear ma you got it so let's say i have a column name called next okay now if i say incident dot next it may not work in that time i have to use underscore next the underscore next and the normal next both are simple same okay for system both are same but you use underscore next or underscore query okay 
where you have a field on the table with the same name, either next or either query. Is that clear, everyone? Yes. 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 So first thing is, what is the difference between next and underscore next? Okay. So this part we covered. Now, okay. So forget about this one. So I'll just remove this one. So we'll just say next only. Okay. Now the second question is, what is the difference between next and has next? Okay. So this one has next. When you say has, how it is starting, ma? So has means what? It's Having something. It's a question, right? Can has so has next? Do you have something? That's what is telling. So this output is always either true or false. If you have something has next, it will write either true or false. Okay, but <clears throat> this next is to move the item to the next item. So let's say you you got around twenty here. Okay. While I and say next, it will start with zero, it will move to one, then move to two, then move to three, move to four. So while I and say next will pass to the next item. Okay. But a has next, it will tell, okay, do you have any record? Yes. Then execute it. Okay. So this is the difference. Here you are asking a question and getting either true or false. The, repo the result is Boolean here. Okay. It always write either true or false. But this one is to move to the next record. Is that clear, ma? Everyone? So just to see this uh, definitions, maybe you will understand little deeper. Okay, so here see, okay, next, what next is telling moves to the next record in the collide record. Okay, this is what I told, right? Has next, has next determines if there are any more records in the glide record. So it asks you a question, if any are there, yes, it says yes or no. Okay. And I don't think here it will write underscore next, unfortunately. Underscore next. Okay, we can't find it here. But if you see here. Okay. Underscore next. Moves to the next record in the glide record. Same definition. Provides the same functionality as next. <coughs> intended to use in case where glide record has a column named next. Okay. This is same like query also. Ma right underscore query the same way and just see has next here once maybe let's say if we have any examples okay so see here has next example if now dot gr this is our glide record has next it writes true or false if it is true then do something if it is false do other thing okay same like if conditionally but we are checking either true or false that's it Okay, ma, is that clear? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, this is very, very, very important question. First important thing for today. Okay. Please complete it. Okay.